John, drummers have heroes. I know that you met one of your heroes, correct? Oh yeah, yeah. I met all all the drummers I've I've admired. I've met being Bobby Elliott because I'm a Hollies fan. He, he, you listen to his drumming. Bob's great, and uh, Brian Bennett and Shadows. <clears throat> you know, there's um, there's loads of drummers around. But uh, I remember when I was touring with Quo, he's using Premier Drums, and um, Eddie Haynes was a representative of the record company. Uh, sorry, the drum company, and uh, he came to the gig. He said, oh, Johnny, said, uh, you like Buddy Rich, don't you? I said, oh, yeah, awesome. See him on telly, you know, love him. He's a great drummer, so fast. <laughs> anyway, so he said, um, would you like to meet him? Oh, what? You're joking, aren't you? No, he said, I can fix it. He's a mate of mine. Flipping heck. All right, so anyway, cut long story short. We're on tour. It gets fixed, right? I think, I think this is right. I think Buddy Rich was in Preston. Well, we were in Preston, and the other one was in... Uh, Manchester so it got fixed that afternoon me drum road he took me over there and uh, I remember walking in the gig through the back door up the stairs no security at the time just walked straight in and uh, I saw him sitting on his kit tapping away and his roadie went buddy your guest is here anyway so then another couple turned up who was a journalist and cameraman I, hi buddy I, are you John yeah hi man how are you and so I'm shutting away. It's got long barnet, you know. Even put a nice white jacket on to look smart, you know, because <laughs> I'm missing my hero. Anyway, he's uh, we're chatting away, and he said, uh, "What drums you got, John?" I said, "Premier. I'm using Premier." Oh yeah, great drums. Anyway, we're talking about cars, um, what countries you've been, what food you like, everything except drums. I mean, I didn't know what to say. And he said, "Hey, John, uh, have a play. Have a play, my drums." He says, God's on his truth. And I sat there and I thought, oh my God, no. And I sat on oh, snare drum, tilted it like that. You know, it's, everything's in different things. I'm trying to play like, playing away. He's standing by the kit like this. He said, God damn it, I didn't realize the sound is so good. Anyway, this journalist there and this girl said, well, Mr. Rich, uh, you're the best drummer in the world. And, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. What do you think of this guy? You know, long hair and that, playing for a rock band. And I know for a fact that he didn't like rock and roll. You know, because he, he's obviously the way we approach the drum is probably totally different from what he does. And, uh, anyway, having said that, he stood up to my defence. He says, ma'am, there's no need for that. He's doing his job. I'm doing mine. Oh, like, yes. And uh, we took loads of pictures. And I remember Chris Welch, Chris Welch saw a picture uh, of me. There's a picture taken from the front of the kit. I'm sitting on the stool. Uh, looking over this way, we're just above the right symbol, and Buddy Rich is standing there, a big smile on his face. And Chris Welch said, John, that's the only photo I've ever seen of uh, Buddy Rich smiling. He said, that's great, mate. How was it? I said, awesome. Then Rich said, come on, John, let's go and have a drink. So we go to the dressing room. He says, as you know, John, I don't allow anybody to drink alcohol in my band when I'm working. So that's a good, good idea, I suppose. And he said, come have a drink. So we're in this restaurant room. We've got drinks like this, you know, arms. Up. It's orange juice, right? <laughs> Toasting each other with orange juice. And i tell you what, guys, I, it, it was the most wonderful day for me. And uh, he was smashing. It was really nice. And the only thing I can think of is a lot of drummers go and meet him. And all they want to do is talk about, could you show us how you play that uh, you know, triplet thing, how'd you do that? And I think he got to the point where he's getting fed up with it and probably thought, get a, buy a bloody book and, you know, get a drum lesson. <laughs> and I think that's only thing I do. But I remember getting, take, going back to the gig and playing my gig. I sort of flew on stage that night. It was great. It was a great uplift. It was the most wonderful experience. I've got some great pictures of that and I should never forget it. But all the drummers, I, even like old Charlie, Charlie Watts plays with the Stones. He's a good little jazz drummer, you know. So I met Charlie, I met Ringo. Ringo was great with the Beatles. And all the ones I've admired, I've met. And it's awesome. Um, there's some great drummers out there. I mean, who's your favourite drummer, Steve? Anyone, anyone in mind? My, my, my favourite drummer? Well, John Coughlin, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, of course. For, for people like us, for people like who are not musical, we don't know who's uh, a good drummer and who isn't, I, I don't think. If you're not, I mean, you you three guys are musical, I'm not. So I, I wouldn't know a good drummer um, if, if I fell over one. Uh, we, we don't really know if you're not musical. 
I guess you just look at them and think, well, that's proficient. You know, um, Ringo is meant to be a great drummer because he left out more than what he put in. But I don't know whether that's true, you know. Is that yeah. true, John? Well, I think what happens is an old saying in music, it, uh, it, it's uh, play the song, play the song. Don't. I, what I don't like is a band going to the guitar solo and the drummer's doing a bloody drum solo as well and all these breaks, every bar. Oh, you know, it doesn't work. What Ringo did, he left out all that stuff and he just played time. A drummer's job really is, uh, there's an old saying in jazz, it's called uh, a drummer's job is to keep time, make the band swing. And that's what Ringo did and Charlie have done the same. It's just playing what you need. And uh, ch the funny thing is Ringo uh, is left-handed. Uh, John Bonham was left-handed, but they play drums right-handed, like I do. I'm left-handed. Sign all scribes over there. And play drums right-handed. The only reason I play that right-handed is because when I grew up play, learning to play drums, you never, ever saw a left-handed drummer. They would just weren't there for some reason. So what I'm saying, we should actually play, you know, should actually play the other way around, really. Play, some drummers play bass drum right foot, hi-hat left foot, or the other way around. And it didn't work for me, so I, I thought, well, I've seen all these jazz drummers and stuff and uh, that I used to go and see in my early days, and that all drum kits were right-handed. I remember seeing an interview with Ringo where he admits that he's a left-handed drummer and he couldn't get a left-handed drum kit. And that's why, because people were asking about his technique, and he said, well, I'm playing a right-handed kit, but I'm a left-hander. So do you play yeah. the snare with your right hand, John? Oh no, le left hand. Are you still left hand on the snare? No. Yeah. That, yeah. I, I, I Sorry. He, yes. Yeah. That, I'm, I, I'm getting confused now. Yeah. 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 I see what you mean. Bass the drum, right foot. Hi, yeah. Hi hat, left foot, snare drum, left hand. Uh, I think that's possibly why a lot of the shuffles I used to play with Quo was um, loud because I'm leading. My my left hand was the strongest. You know, just just striking the rim and uh, mm. pro probably I learned a lot in my time is the fact that. To save energy on stage, just sit there, just sit there and, and just let the wrist do the work. That all this stuff, you know, that I don't know what all that's about, a uh, waste of time. But uh, I've noticed a lot of drummers that uh, you see on telly, they're riding the ride symbol, okay? And it's a guitar solo, maybe, whatever. The left foot is stationary. You can play, John Bonham was great at that, you know, he'd be playing the ride symbol. You see the hi hat doing this, the ching ring on there as well, like a tambourine. You can play different rhythms. So what I'm saying, you can do four different rhythms with, with both feet and both hands. So that's how I learned. But uh, yeah, they they seem to have lessons and seem to tie the hi hat down and not not play with it with the left foot. I mean, whatever reason they've got, I suppose. But uh, you can do like I say, you know, do four different rhythms with it. If it's mic'd up, of course, put a microphone on the hi hat, and you can do four, like I say, four different rhythms. It works. You've got to be pretty, you've got to have a brain that's wired the right way to be able to do four different things. Yeah, yeah it's, well, not, it's not trying to make a decision at a bar what strength you want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not normal people. But also go, going back to your point about drummers, that normally they'd be at the back um, and they're, they're sort of normally not the biggest egos in the band. Is, is that true? Because you've got your lead singer and everyone te seems to swarm around the lead singer, then maybe the lead guitarist, occasionally the bass player, and the girls love drummers if they can see them, but most of the time they can't see them. Um, but it, does that mean that drummers generally in the bands you've uh, played with or the musicians you've played with, and this is open to everyone, do you think drummers are more modest than other band members? I think I think they like <coughs> excuse me. I think they like to be seen. I don't think I read guitarist standing in front of me and move to the left or right. So because I don't look at your ass when I'm playing, I just want to look at the girls in the audience, you know. And uh, I have noticed on telly sometimes. Uh, do you know that dance program? Was that bloody thing's on telly? That's uh, is it? Carry on. No, what's it called? The dark with the couples are dancing and they get points for dancing. You come dancing? Quickly come dancing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Sorry, they've got a fantastic orchestra playing there. Do we see them? No, we don't, because they're all in darkness. I think that's not fair. I, I think I know a bass player who got the gig to do that, and he's, the worst thing he said, because they've got, I imagine they've got in-ears, and all they've got, well, not all, they've got everything in their ears, the audience clapping. 
dreadfully out of time. You know, you watch the audience, a lot of them are clapping on the beat instead of off the beat. And it's so off-putting. And I don't think, they strictly now, um, they don't have an audience, but they still put the clapping on. And they, I remember what my wife likes watching Spray, and I watched it once, and there was a time change in the middle of the, of the dance, and they were all over the place, because they obviously didn't know it was going to be a time change. It's a mess. I think, why couldn't you just have a programme with these people dancing without this clapping? I mean, you don't... I, I've had, had it, you're playing with the band and you're looking at the audience and the lights are going around. Suddenly there's these people in front of the stage and they're going, you're like, da, da, da. So we should be going, da, da, da. They go. You know, no. <laughs> you just don't look at them, man, because you put you off. You know, so well, that's one thing that annoys me. But uh, I'm sure there's some other drummers here, they, they speak, you know, the same, I, I think, possibly. That Hello. band on Strictly Come Dancing are, are very, very tight. They're really good. And yeah. the vocalists, they get to do, you know, because they're effectively a covers band. Um, yeah. And they're pretty damn good. But I agree with you. It's a shame you don't get to see these people. They're, they're always shrouded in darkness. But some of these other TV shows I've seen, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a band on now. All applause. And I saw one the other day. I can't remember who it was now, but... Uh, they lit, lit up the lead singer, lit up the guitarist and keyboard player. The drummer was in the dark. I mean, why? You know, what's all that about? Is he ugly or something? I mean, just put, you know, um, it's just, it's not right. And if you've got four in a band, five in a band, they should all be lit up and seen because they, you know, they, that's what they're there for. Mm -hmm. 